I was in California a number of years ago. Spoke to a group of people, I think there was a few hundred there. It was a caucus for the Republican Party. And after the meeting, a very well-dressed, attractive, middle-aged lady walked up to me and said, Chaplain, I'd like to speak with you after most of the crowd has moved out and you have a few minutes. I said, I'd be glad to. After I noticed most everyone had moved out of the building, I went back and sat down in the auditorium. And this lady said, Chaplain, I'm Mrs. So-and-so. I'll not mention her name. You'll know who she is. And she said, I am the chairman of the Republican Party of California who introduced Ronald Reagan to the Republican Party whereby he became president of the United States of America. I said, congratulations. We have not had a single president of the United States of America since Ronald Reagan that has not been an elitist. Did you hear me? Ronald Reagan was not one. Oh no, now just wait till you hear the story. The lady said, Chaplain, I was at the hotel that night when Ronald Reagan was to choose his vice presidential running candidate. She said, I was there with them. And she said, Ronald Reagan came to us personally, his close friends, and said, I promise you, I will not choose an elitist as my vice, vice presidential running candidate. And he said, I know that George Herbert Bush is one, and I know Mr. Kissinger is one. And he said, I promise you, I will not choose them as my vice presidential running candidate. He chose Bush. He came to this lady the next day, who was the one that introduced him to the Republican Party. And he said, I'm going to have to apologize. He said, I'm very sorry. He said, Bush was there. Kissinger was there. He named a few other people in the room, and I was there. And he said, I was told that either I chose Mr. Bush as my vice presidential running candidate, or they would smear me with the media all over this nation and guaranteed me I would never become the president of the United States of America. And he said, I had to make a choice, either to accept Mr. Bush, whom I knew is an elitist, or to become the president and try to help America. I had a choice, and I had no choice. And he said, I knew they could do it. And he said, I chose Mr. Bush so that I could help America for eight years.